हेलो गाइस हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ माय सेल्फ विक्रांत एंड आई वेलकम यू वेलकम यू बैक टू डे ऑफ टाउन सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज बॉर्डर एंड हाउ टू अप्लाई वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ बॉर्डर एंड एंड इट्स विड्स एंड ऑल प्रॉपर्टीज अलॉन्ग विद अवर बैकग्राउंड इमेज प्रॉपर्टीज सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोना सी वॉट इज सी एस एस बॉक्स मॉडल एंड हाउ टू अप्लाई दिस बॉक्स मॉडल विद द हेल्प ऑफ पार्जिंग लाइक मार्जिन पैडिंग बॉर्डर and yeah that's fine so let us directly jump on to the example for the box model so on the screen you are able to see the thing that is only the box model that we have so in the on on the middle of the image that you can see in uh, blue colors 794 into 160 so this is the size of our element that we have okay and uh, on the outskirt of this particular blue box we have uh, our padding in green color that is 50 50 20 20 so these are top bottom and left right padding so padding is the area that uh, like uh, that which consists the area between this border and element and outside padding we have border and outside that the outermost area of any element that we can give is our margin just to like separate two tags we can use this margin as well so let us see with the help of one like live example on one live site so let's say i am going on to the flipkart.com domain so on flipkart.com i am just clicking right on my mouse i am inspecting the site and let's say i want to see the box model for this logo okay so i am just selecting it and let's say if i am going to this compute it so right now you are able to see the box model for this logo so every tag in html element have this box model okay so we we might be like we can give the values to our box model as well but but by default it's uh, it has some value that is that are null values okay so you can see for this box model uh, it, like the element size is fixed but uh, the box model doesn't have the padding border and margin okay but we can see the box model for every element that we click on okay okay but how it is getting applied and like what are the usages of this particular box model so let us directly jump onto the vs code just to see one live example and we are going to code it out okay so yeah right now i have opened my index.html page so i will do one thing i will just open this with live server as well just to showcase you and yeah so let me just divide my screen first of all okay and i am taking my boiler plate code with the help of shift 1 entering it okay and in body tag we will be like selecting two div tags let's say div into two for generating two div tags and i am going to pass them the same id id of container this this is the precise name that's why i am using it container and for second div box also the same id okay i'm and i'm writing some text inside it let's say i am a dev town student okay i am just selecting it and pasting it in another div tag okay so right now i am saving it i am saving it but i am not able to see the output i don't know why let me just open this again with live server okay so right now i am able to see the output i am dev town student so no issues it happens sometime i am just taking style tag now and inside the style tag we are like applying some styles to our container okay so first of all i will just apply this say background color to my particular element so i will be applying a simple color of bisque i am saving it so right now you are able to see that my bis color is getting applied to our container okay so yeah i think uh, why it is not getting applied to my second thing as well second id as well okay i need to resave it oh still it is not getting applied i think there is some uh, bit of problem there so no issues we will just figure it out Okay, 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 okay. I, 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 I think I got it. So I think I write this content outside the div tag. Okay, so you guys also need to like find out this type of 
issues this is like these are very normal issues no issues okay so yeah so both uh, div tags are getting the background color of bisque so let me just apply our background border as we have learned this in our previous video two pixel solid and this time we are using this green color i am saving this so right now you are able to see that i am devdown student we are getting a border of green color for our both tags okay so right now we are going to apply this padding so padding of let's say 20 pixel so as soon as i give padding so you you know that the padding lies between my element and border so as soon as i give 20 pixel of padding you are able to see there is a might there is a like a difference between uh, like border and element so let's say i'm saving it so you are able to see the 20 pixel gap between border and element okay so this is padding okay and and after that we have margin so margin is the outermost part of any element or tag we can say so let's say i am giving a margin of 10 pixel okay so you are able to see a margin of 10 pixel so this white space is the margin so let's say i don't want margin on my uh, left and right just want i just want the margin on my top and bottom side so for that we can give a preference like this so let's say 10 pixel 10 pixel 10 and 10 so this is the same as 10 pixel like writing one time 10 pixel and writing 10 10 pixel four times so but but why we are taking this uh, four times so this is a syntax for writing margin padding and border as well so let's say uh so this is like top left uh, bottom and right so this is the short uh, way to write this so this is like okay my bad no issues so this is the very short shorthand for writing these borders okay so, so this first 10 pixel represents our top margin second represents our left uh, left margin third represents our bottom margin and the final one the fourth one represents our right margin so how to settle this so let's say i want my top and bottom to be 10 pixel and my left and right to be zero pixel so i will just provide them zero pixel and i'm saving it so right now you are able to see they are getting the zero zero pixels of margin okay so this is it and for padding let's say i want my padding to be top and like top and bottom padding to be 20 pixel and my left and right padding to be zero pixel so I, I am saving it so now you are able to see the difference is there okay so see there are two different ways to like uh, apply this padding and margin by applying them together in single tag or by applying them in different different tags so let's say instead of this uh, 20 0 20 0 i am just keeping it is simple like this and for margin also i am using just two two step uh, identification if i am saving it i am getting the same results so if i am like selecting the two things let's say top and left so they are like getting applied to this bottom and right so how it is getting applied so this let's say this first denotes my top and bottom 10 pixel denotes my top and bottom in case if we are writing the elements in two different values and this second value denotes my left and right thing so if you want to see okay i will show you let's say i'm increasing this 10 pixel and i am decree like i am meeting, uh, making our top bottom zero i am saving it so right now you are able to see my top bottom margin is zero that's why this both tags are mixing up okay so this is the this is the thing let's say i'm making it 10 pixel again so we are able to see 10 pixel margin on every side of my tag okay so how to see this whether it like it is getting applied properly or not okay so let's say i am inspecting my okay sorry my bad i just need to zoom it out to 100 percent okay i am i am just need to inspect this and after inspecting if let's say i am selecting my first tag first due tag so right now you are able to see that uh, you are able to see the box model for this. I just need to. Okay, I think. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So this is sufficient, I guess. Okay. So right now you are able to see my element size is this 532 into 18.4. 
so 532 is the pix like a uh, uh, width pixel and 18.4 is the height let's say of my particular uh, elements and after that we have a padding of 20 pixel so i have a padding of top and bottom and my left and right margin is nil like padding is nil so that's why i show you know if we are not giving any padding so here here comes the dash dash because we haven't given anything there so this this is padding after that we have border of 10 like 2 pixel of green of green color that we have given and after that we have a margin of 10 pixel that you can see so in this way this, this margin is getting applied as soon as i hover on margin you are able to see the margin this is the border this, this is padding this is our element so in this way you can apply the box model for every tag we have in our html elements and this is a very like this is a very basic thing to know about html so yeah in in upcoming videos we will also see how to apply box model for like designing various web pages and various ui so yeah this is i think for today's video this is sufficient so just uh, practice it and yeah i will see you in next video until then bye bye thank you so much for watching